Sometimes when you need to run advanced administrative functions, troubleshooting, and resolving many Windows issues, you need to run the command prompt as an administrator. But how do you do this? Well, with Windows 10, there are multiple ways, and this video is going to deal with all those different ways of running the command prompt as an administrator. The first one is press Control, Shift, and Enter on a shortcut, or such as the case here, on the bottom of my taskbar, I have the command prompt. I press Control, Shift, and left click with my mouse, and it prompts me if I'm sure I want to allow this app to make changes because user access control is turned on and it's going to be run as an administrator. So if I go yes, you'll see at the top here, it says administrator colon command prompt. Now, if you want to turn off user access control, which I'll do so for this video to make sure we don't get that prompt every time, you can click on the Windows key, start typing control for control panel. Once it comes up, click on user accounts. On the bottom, change user account control settings. And the scroll bar here will change it to never notify. Click on OK. Now we won't be prompted every time we want to run the command prompt as an administrator. The next one is right click on the start menu. And here we have command prompt admin. However, the default Windows 10 setup puts PowerShell there instead of command prompt. So if you want to revert this back to the command prompt, click on start, go into settings, click on personalization, taskbar at the bottom here. And right over here, you'll see there's an option that says replace command prompt with Windows PowerShell. If that's turned on, click on start or right click on start. Now we'll see it says Windows PowerShell. If we turn this off, right click on start and there we have the command prompt. So if you want to switch between those two options, that's how you would do it. The other option is click on your search bar, type CMD and command prompt will appear in the list. Right click on this, go run as administrator. And there we have it, command prompt opens as the administrator. You also have it in your start menu. Click on start. You can scroll down to the W's or click on the any of the alphabetized letters here, then W and under Windows system, you have command prompt. Again, right click on it, more and run as administrator. Next option. Go into this PC, go into Windows, look for System32, and CMD, which is right here. You can right-click on this file now and go Run as Administrator. We'll keep this one open for a second because my last option is going to be creating a shortcut to this particular file, and this is where things will get quite interesting. The next method we're going to deal with is the task manager. Now to open up the task manager, you can right click on the taskbar here and bring up the task manager or the shortcut for this is control shift and escape. That also brings up the task manager. Now you can see this, it's in the minimized view at the moment. You can click on more details. Now you can click on file, run new task, type CMD and check off this box that says create this task with administrative privileges. Click on OK, and there we have the administrative command prompt. Now here's my favorite one. We're going to create a shortcut. We'll click on this file, right click, drag it to the desktop, and create a shortcut. First thing, we're going to right click and go into properties. Under the general tab, let's call it admin command. I don't want to put a dash, otherwise you have to type it. But we'll get to this in just a second. I'll show you what I'm getting at right now. In the shortcut tab, click on advanced and make sure you check off this box that says run as administrator. Go OK. OK. Now if we double click on it, there we go. It automatically opens up a command prompt as the administrator. OK. Now that we have the admin command on our desktop, if you click on search and begin by typing admin, you'll see it doesn't come up with the exact match. It's got command prompt as a related command. So how do we get this to work properly? Open up your computer, go into your C drive, and I've created a folder here called scripts. Anything that I use, such as hibernate, log off, restart, shut down, sleep, all my customized scripts that I run regularly, I put into this particular folder. I'm going to drag the admin command and move it into this folder as well. Now, if I click on start and type admin, see it still doesn't come up. So how do we get this to work? Well. There's a nice little shortcut that most people don't know about. If we 
Click on Start and begin by typing Advanced because we want to open up the Advanced System Settings. Right here, you'll see Environment Variables. Under the Path statement for the particular user, don't modify the system variable because you could potentially cause issues. And then if you have other users on the same computer, they'll have access to that particular change as well. So you only want to deal with your logged in user. Under this path, click on it to highlight it, go Edit. And we're going to add a new statement at the bottom here. We're just going to put in the path that we just created. So C colon backslash scripts. OK, OK, close that down. Now watch what happens if we click on search or start and we start by typing admin command. There we go. Now we have the actual shortcut that we just created. The same thing would be applicable for anything else that I have in this scripts folder, such as my log off command. There you can see there's the command that I've created because the scripts, the C colon backslash scripts folder is in my path statement. So if you want to make your life a little bit easier, definitely do this as it does make having to change folders and change directories all the time a lot easier. Hopefully one of these ways of opening up the command prompt will help you make your life a little bit easier anyway, and certainly use whichever one is your favorite. Thanks for watching. Take care. Have a fantastic day.